What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually taking apart the MMI on my Audi S4. And this might be a difficult job. I'm not entirely sure yet, but let me show you what I got going on so far. All right, so what I've done so far is just put the car into neutral and then make sure your parking brake is also on so you don't go rolling backwards. Uh, you can start the car off to put it in neutral or just go in here, take out the, the ashtray. There's a little button, button right there. Just push that down with a screwdriver and then throw the car into neutral is what I just did. So I'm actually taking apart the MMI controller, which is this whole piece right here. That's your uh, adjuster knob, volume knob, all your different radio buttons and functions are all right here in this area. Come from this part right here and pry the whole thing up. So let's try that out. All right, so I got a pry tool right here. I'm gonna try to, yeah, it's probably not gonna work out. Something a tad bit smaller. And the carbon fiber is already cracked right here in this area, so hopefully I don't uh, mess that up even more. Yep. It's coming on up. There we go. Got that part popped out. And this should just lift right on out, so... And then watch out for the connections under here. Also, got this thing, like two three wires or so all right so i got that connection loose right there i just need to get the one on that back side so these two little clamps which are actually kind of hidden under the the air conditioner right here they won't allow the mmi control to actually come out and i can't get to that other wire without moving that so i might take out this whole ac unit right here to get this whole mmi panel out all right, so I already kind of popped it out, but this was just sitting there. I took a flathead screwdriver, literally just pulled, pushed it into there, and it literally just popped right out so easily. So that comes around just like that. And I'm not going to disconnect this. I'm going to leave it there because all I'm trying to do is just get this uh, MMI controller to lift up a little bit more. All right, so it's actually two more wires. So for this one right here, there's a little tab at the bottom. Simply push that up and it should pull right out. So let me get that real quick. And just a word of advice, when working on these Audis and stuff like that, there's always a, a kind of lock on connector. So never just pull anything out. It's always a it's always a type of little latch on there that you have to push down. So never just rip anything out. It'll save you a bunch of money. And then this one will be the same thing. A little pull tab, a little push tab at the bottom here. All you gotta do is slide that in, pull straight on out now all the wires are disconnected this should be able to pull up a little bit more last thing you do is get the gear shifter leather off it's going to be a little ring under the leather right here it's going to push this up a little bit all right i'm actually move the air conditioner as well so pop it out pull these little red tabs out yep so two separate wires one there other one was kind of tight to get out, so I'm just gonna hang it on the side. So apparently you have to pop this little ring off right here. Lift a flat head, so this should just uh oh sorry for the bad angle, but I'm gonna stick this flat head into the little clamp right here so I can just pop it off. Getting the uh gear shifter off is by far the hardest part of this whole thing. All right, so I laid some vice grips on the other end of this right here so I can kind of get some more leverage to pop this little thing off right here. All right, so I just popped that little tab off right there with a flathead. The rest of it should come off pretty easily. Just bend it out just like that so it comes all the way off. All right, last thing you need to do is get the gear shift lever off. So all I want to do is take the silver part, pull it out, pull it out right here, and simply just pull up, and it comes off just like that. And what you don't want to do is don't let this slide back in or you can't put the gear shifter back on. So wherever that silver clamp went, what you can do is take your silver hose clamp, slide it under, the silver lever so it won't slide back in and it should hold just like that 
all right so now that i have everything taken out i can pretty much tell that yeah something was definitely spilled inside of here it's uh very sticky i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and the mmi controller is actually very sticky too so hopefully if i clean this off it'll be able to fix the uh the radio issue if that doesn't work i have another solution a last resort solution hopefully that works also but uh i'm gonna get this cleaned up and see what i can do with the mmi controller also all right, so I got the MMI controller out, and what I'm gonna do now is pretty much take apart these Torx bits. These are like T10 Torx bits. So as you see right here, something was definitely spilled inside the MMI, which caused these sticky buttons, and possibly is causing the MMI to not function properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this panel right here, wash everything down, and then try to put it back together. You can also take off the gear shift uh, cushion or leather as well. These little tabs right here, you should slide right back. You just push out and it comes out just like that all right so i got all the screws removed so hopefully this just lifts right up off of the controller probably some tabs here on the side let me see yep looks like some tabs on the side gotta pull these back All right, that slides off just like that. And honestly, at first glance, it looked pretty rough, but now that I see the board completely, it doesn't look doesn't look that bad at all. Hopefully I didn't damage any of the components on this board. This is about 80 bucks to 100 bucks to replace just this little board alone, so be careful with that. And then I believe this board should just slide right up on out of here. All right, so the volume knob gives you a little bit of trouble when taking it out. But uh, all I pretty much did was just really just pull it all the way out and it came out. So hopefully nothing is damaged. But here's the circuit board right here and all of the buttons as well. And the circuit board should just slide right out. Just like that. All right, so this is the circuit board right here. It looks clean from a glance, but if you get a little bit closer, you can see some syrup around the power button and also a couple other areas on the on the board itself. So what we're gonna do for both of these parts right here, we're gonna take some alcohol and a Q-tip, probably just go across the board. And then with these buttons right here, these pop off pretty easily. So we're gonna pop those off and same process, Q-tip, alcohol, Let's see if we can clean these up a little bit more. These are super, super sticky. And then hopefully this makes a difference. So the circuit board was pretty easy, but this is the worst part right here. So I took all the buttons off of the MMI kind of controller button panel section, and these just break right apart. There's the centerpiece over here. And I'm gonna take these buttons apart also. There are little caps on here. So I'm gonna clean all inside there and then put everything back together. All right, here's all the buttons cleaned up. Go ahead and put everything back together. All right, so I have the controller fully back together. I haven't put the volume knob on yet in case I have to take anything out. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back into the car and see if it has any function at all. And then if that works out or it doesn't, I'll go ahead and put the shifter back on and all the volume stuff and put it back together. All right, so I plugged in the controller wire, which is the one in the rear. I left the parking brake stuff off and the gear shifter stuff off. So let's see if this will actually light up and do something. Yeah. Yep, still nothing. Let me try hitting the power button. Parking brake malfunction because uh it's it's not plugged in right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and plug everything in and see if anything changes. And for reference, the reinstall is the same as taking it out just in reverse. And we put the gear shifter on, slide it all the way down to here to snap in place. You shouldn't be able to turn it anymore. And then simply pull this out, slide that out as well, and wrap it back around the base of the shifter. And it should be as easy as that. All right, so cleaning out the board did not fix the MMI issue. But uh, if you're wondering how to clean out the MMI controller, well, that's how you do it. So I have one more solution to actually fix this issue. Uh, I'm going to try to cover that in the next video. So other than that, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.